By the way, you mentioned in there about um, uh, niceness. Uh, some people think to get to the very, very top, you actually have to have a very ruthless underbelly. Is that true? I don't, I don't think it is. Um, I, th I thought it was actually because I, I left the cult up, which was a genteel sort of a place, and um, you know went to join Tesco. I was 23. Um, and the salesman who supplied, you know, the co-op said, you're going to get eaten alive at Tesco. It was a very sort of sharp-elbowed place. And it frightened the life out of me. And, and um, actually, when I went in there, it was a bit of a wild west. This is going back uh, 30, more than 30 years. And it was sort of very male, very testosterone, shout people down and things like that. And I, I actually did have to become sort of quite tough to survive. Um, and uh, in, in my early years, because they think, well, who is this upstart in his 20s, you know, telling us what to do? What does he know? Mm. Um, and, um, but, but then gradually watching other people, I, I realized that, uh, you know, you don't have to sort of be sharp elbowed all the time. You, um, uh, you just be yourself, let people know who you are. Um, and uh, you, you find that if you're consistent in how you behave, people feel they can rely on you and trust you.